Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create unique hover effects for the links in your main navigation. Now to be super duper clear, we're talking about the text links that are in the header of your website. If you wanna change the style of the button that's in the header of your website, check out the related videos linked below. I have an older tutorial about that that will teach you all you need to know. But today, in this tutorial, we're talking about the individual links in the main navigation of your website. We're gonna do things like change up the color and give it a background and all kinds of fun hover effects and all the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below. But I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you so you can see exactly how these codes work. Here we are inside Squarespace, and I do want to mention this tutorial is specific for version 7.1. These selectors won't work for other versions of Squarespace. Now, there are actually four different types of links here in the header. I have this active link. This is the page that we're on, a few additional links, and then I also have a folder with drop-down links inside of them. We're going to give each one of these its own unique hover effect. Starting with the very first one, to cover all active links in your header, you can say header nav A, hover. I'm gonna copy this code and I'll scroll up so we can see our changes. We'll navigate to design and then scroll down to custom CSS, selecting this very last option here. Pasting this code here, I can open up a curly bracket and change anything I want to about any active links in the header of my website. Let's go ahead and start by giving it a background. I'll say background yellow and I'll say exclamation point important to make sure the browser sees my code. And now when I hover over any one of these links, we're going to see that background color of yellow. I'm going to add a semicolon and say color, and here we'll say green. And again, I'm going to say exclamation point important to make sure that the browser picks up on our code. And there we go, we now have a green text over a yellow background. Now let's make that stand out a little more and make the font bold. I'll add another semicolon and I'll say font, weight, bold. Now the font that I'm using is Poppins. Poppins has a bold font available. Your font might not have that option, so definitely double check to make sure that bold is available for the font you're working with to get this effect. Now scrolling down here, I did mention we've got four options. That's just the first one that covers all active links. Underneath that, we can change just the actual item that is active. I've seen this used before where people will make the active page that someone is on slightly transparent, so it's obvious that there really won't be anything achieved by clicking on that link, you're already on that page. So I'll go ahead and add this code here, and here we'll say opacity 0.8. And now when I hover over the active page, it'll just go to a lighter gray saying, hey, we're already on this page. You might not really need to click on that. Now scrolling down here, we also have the folder title. If you wanna change the title of the folder individually, have it separate from all these other links, we can totally do that. I'll paste this code here, and we'll go ahead and say background. We'll make this one of my favorite shades of blue. There we go. And now when we hover over just the folder, we'll get that background color. Pretty cool, right? No other link is going to be affected. Now the links inside this dropdown also have their own unique name. They're the folder item. So I'll scroll back up here and let's go ahead and replace this selector with the folder item hover. And now when I hover over these links, those are going to get that unique background color. Pretty awesome, right? Okay, so quick recap. We have four main selectors. This first one is going to cover every active link. This second one is only the page that you're currently on. This third one is for the folder title, just the title. And this last one is for the links inside the folder. Now font color, if you wanna change that, use the property color. If you wanna make it bold, change the font weight. And if you wanna change the background color, use the property background. That's it for this tutorial. And again, all those selectors and the few style options that I shared are listed in the description below but I wanna encourage you to get really creative here. You've got all kinds of options with custom colors and font styles and just lots of fun things that you can do. So play around with those codes and make sure that you make your website uniquely yours. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week and I wanna make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.